albinism. The term albinism refers to a group of inherited disorders where there is little or no production of the melanin pigment. The type and amount of melanin your body produces determines the color of your skin, hair and eyes. Melanin also helps in developing the optic nerves. People with albinism have vision problems. You can identify signs of albinism in a person's skin, hair and eye color. People with albinism are also sensitive to the effects of the sun. This increases the risk of developing skin cancer. Symptoms The symptoms and signs involve skin, hair, eye color and vision. Skin The most recognizable form of albinism is very light colored skin and white hair. When exposed to the sun, some people may develop sunburn and the ability to tan. Large freckle-like spots. Moles with or without pigment. Hair. Hair color can range from very white to brown. People of African or Asian descent who have albinism may have hair color that's yellow, reddish or brown. Eye color. Eyelashes and eyebrows are often pale. The color can range from very light blue to brown and may change with age. The lack of pigment in the colored part of the eyes makes the irises somewhat translucent. This means that the irises can't completely block light from entering the eye. This makes very light colored eyes appear red in some lighting. Vision. Eye problems may include extreme nearsightedness or farsightedness. Sensitivity to light also called photophobia. Abnormal curvature of the front surface of the eye or the lens inside the eye which causes blurred vision. Abnormal development of the retina resulting in reduced vision. Poor depth perception. Causes of albinism. Several genes provide instructions for making one of several proteins involved in the production of melanin. Melanin is produced by cells called melanocytes, which are found in your skin, hair and eyes. Albinism is caused by a mutation in one of these genes. Different types of albinism can occur based mainly on which gene mutation caused the disorder. The mutation may result in no melanin at all or a significantly reduced amount of melanin. Diagnosis Diagnosis is based on a physical examination that includes checking skin and hair pigmentation. A comparison of the child's pigmentation to that of other family members. A thorough eye examination by an ophthalmologist is also important. This is a doctor who specializes in vision and eye disorder. The examination includes an assessment of potential nystagmus, strabismus and photophobia. The doctor will also examine the retina and determine if there are signs of abnormal development. Treatment. Albinism is a genetic disorder. This means it cannot be cured. Treatment focuses on getting proper eye care and monitoring skin for signs of abnormalities. The team giving care includes Ophthalmologist Dermatologist Genetics Lifestyle and home remedies. Always use sunscreen with a sun protection factor of 30 or greater that protects against both UVA and UVB light. Strictly avoid high risk or prolonged sun exposure like being outside for long periods of time or in the middle of the day at high attitudes and on sunny days with thin cloud cover. Wear protective clothing such as long sleeve, collared shirts, long pants and socks, broad brim hats and special UV protection clothing. Protect eyes by wearing dark. UV blocking sunglasses or photochromic lenses that darken in bright light.